20 laps a journey. The Everyday Finance Solutions EFS Modelite Ultimate Series. Round number one. We're about to crown our champion for series number one or round number one for tonight. Here at McCosca, Gladstone Speedway. 20 laps, buckle up. Let's pull the trigger. Flash of green down into the one-two turn. Everybody fighting for a little bit of real estate. Side by side action, three and four wide as they come through the one-two turn and up the back straight. Faint leads, Polich. Polich playing the waiting game. Sticks the nose down underneath. Everybody's on a brand new track surface since the interval. Oh, one around trip. Yeah, not sure who that is. Chris Elliott. Yeah, it's Elliott in the 99. I'm gonna say, I think it's a 99. Faint to lead. Polich, Burks, let's get on the gas one more time. And Faint got the jump nicely. Green flag flies, everybody goes single file, keeping it all on the cone. As they dive down into the one, two turn. Everybody fighting for real estate. Petsy and Birchie gets the job done on Hudson, coming up into three and four. As the field starts to settle themselves down and everyone gets into a bit of a running order. 20 laps was the distance. We've already got two in the book. And at the moment it is Jason Faint that continues to lead the way. And he's just starting to open a little bit of a gap over Nathan Pollich. Burns looking down the inside of young Silcock. And Zach Hudson goes around the outside of both and moves himself up into third spot. Burns is now in fourth. Young Silcock's back to fifth. Ryan Silcock starting to come through the field. He's on the tail of Harrison in the Repco sponsored machine. And Ryan Silcock has made his way up. Yellows, yellows, green. Oh, I wish they wouldn't do that. That just puts confusion into the hearts of everybody. And Jason Faint continues to lead. He's got a couple of car lengths over Pollich already. Look at Ryan Silcock around the outside of Harrison and now tries to do the same on Dean. Meanwhile, out in front, Faint just starting to stretch that lead once again, Macca. Yeah, look at the good. Have a look at this battle for four, five, six, and seven. The two Silcock boys going to work now. Birch doing everything he can to try and hold them off. He sits there in four spot at the moment. Dean and Ryan Silcock now. Putting them to the sword. They go to the top side. Harrison in the best seat in the house at the moment. The 42, watching the Silcock boys go to work. Dean gets on the outside. Ryan goes up the top. Birch doing everything he can to hang on. Leaders at the moment. Jason Faint. He's got a handy lead at the moment over Nathan Pollich. Oh, sorry. Over uh, Zach Hudson. Nathan Pollich doing everything he can to hold Dean Silcock out. Silcock fires the shot down the back straight. Slide job from the BTNQ to triple one. And he moves himself up another spot. The Silcock boys, Trev, starting to put a charge on. Yeah, absolutely. Jason Faint continues to lead and do it comfortably. Zach Hudson's moved up into second. They've put a gap into Pollich. He's now lost the spot to Dean Silcock. He's about to lose another one to Ryan. He's going around the outside of the 48 machine. And Pollich is down another spot. Abby Meehan in the McCosca spots at number two. Out of this one and on the infield. Cameron Birch about to get uh, passed by Harrison on the outside. Then we go back to Tyson Snow, Kirk Grenbauer, uh, McVeigh in there. McVeigh sitting in 10th position at the moment for Cruz McVeigh. And a bit of a lonely run for the 13 machine. Further back, Steve Collins. Then we go back to Leroy Martin. And our race leader now has been closed down by Zach Hudson. Hudson showing some great pace as this race starts to go on, Macca. Yellows. Oh, Leroy Martin. In the 10 machine, just rotating there in turn number four. Moved himself up into second spot. Geez, that could have turned out nasty, Macca. Yeah, Ryan's gonna have to give that spot back to Dean. He jumped in before the cone. So we'll wait and see what the stewards do about that. He's currently up into third spot. A big traffic jam on the way to the cone. But it's fun. Fight 
leads. Hudson in the middle. Silcock. Hudson looks at the bottom. Loses a bit of ground to faint. The Australia one having a big look up underneath the 64 of Zach Hudson. Faint Hudson, Silcock, that's one. Back to Dean Silcock. Tyson's now in the top five. Nathan Pollich, Cameron Burke, Luke Harrison, Kurt Grambauer, and Cruz McVeigh, top ten. Laps winding down, it'll be two to go next time by. Top three. Formation, nice to tail. Rocking and rolling through three and four. Hudson gets right on the backside of Faint. One lap to run. Doctor's jacket flapping in the breeze. The Dondex, number double two. Slaw, side by side, drag of the flag. Faint will get the win over Hudson. Silcock home for third. That's Ryan Silcock back to Dean Silcock. Wow, that's awesome, mate. We, we were misfiring for about the last three laps. That only limped over. I did not have another lap in me. That was that. The double deuce got over the line just. It had me, I thought, and somehow, gee, uh, Miracles happened. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank Dondex, uh, Dondex Sheds, Truffle Pig, um, Aztec, Queens, Komatsu, who else was? Uh, <laughs> Elders Insurance, uh, Bob McCosker, the, the Clay Whisperer, the local Clay Whisperer, mate. Thank you for housing my cars. He, he's a top bloke, mate. If you, ever, if you ever see him in there, say hello to him. I'd like to thank my partner, my pit crew, my family, and most of all, you, Gladstone. Thanks for coming out. Spending the money in the Truffle Peak trailer and, uh, and, and being here because we can't race without you guys. Thank you. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, your top three for round number one of the Everyday Financial Solutions.